Okay, I'm back. More Final Fantasy 16. Uh, last time uh, Sid died. I was not ready for that. Uh, made sense though, but still sad. Uh, oh yeah, we have some side quests to do real quick before I go back to the thingy. Hello. Are you handy with that sword of yours? Mm -hmm. Of course you are. Of course you are. Bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos. 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 You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. Whiteheart. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were too. And now, they're back. Looking to settle the score. Oh, go on then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't a pluckier bird in all the world. Lucky. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry. You'll know her when you see her right enough. Uh, sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. A hiding. Right. I guess it will get to a point where there's gonna be so many side quests, but there hasn't been that many. Any other side quests in this area? Nah. I wonder if it's a white chocobo. Grab this item over here. Yeah, I have a lot of crafting materials, I wonder. Oh. That was a feather. Definitely a white chocobo. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Mm. Speaking of brave birds. Looks like they went that way. White chocobo pinion. Oh, I wonder if we can use it to craft. I don't think so, actually. I think it was a key item. Oh, killed a bunch These of going down without a fight. Bunch of thugs. Oh. Get away from the <laughs> Get away from the Jogobos. You didn't think you seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin. To mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> and why is that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. <laughs> or better still, how about we hurt you both? Alright then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, it's an expert. Expert. She came out. <laughs> Just came out nowhere. She was this the whole time. Ah, fuck. Almost died. Help me, boy. Hey, he's dead. Hey. I definitely almost died. <laughs> Good look. I'm yeah, very stubborn about healing. I feel like I should be able to like go to an inn or something, just refill all my health. You're safe now. No. Quite hurt, I presume. Oh, die. Die. Que, que. Do you know her, boy? Que. Is this Ambrosia? Probably is Ambrosia. Oh, is that one? Yeah. Oh. It is Ambrosia. Ambrosia. It is you. You survived. Oh. This reminds me of Lightning oh. Returns. That white chocobo. And you found yourself a flock. No. <laughs> oh. Oi! Oh, no, I just keep shaking. Tail feathers. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? Bastards. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. Huh? Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. <laughs> Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Well, I... Uh... Oh, no, sorry, sorry. I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I <laughs> reckon. No. Oh. <laughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Quay, quay. Well, bugger me if this isn't a warming sight. <laughs> and that's down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Stay right where you are. The 
That's pretty sad though. Reunited after what, 18 years now? And since it was a five year. Hey, you get to ride the Jogobo. Wait, does it have a sword on it? <laughs> There's the eye patch. That's great. Jogobo's doesn't for everybody. Cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather, the very least I owe old White Heart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry, we'll get along just fine without her. You hear that, White Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. <laughs> you have fun traveling with your master now. Quick, quick, quick. Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swore my car on the road, didn't you? And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, that can't be right. In five years. That fellow was a bearer. Must oh, have yeah. been my double. <laughs> oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> Oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Yeah, I don't think Maybe he wore these colors yet, right? Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. Yeah, I don't think he wore the that gear yet at that time when we met him. You take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Oh. <laughs> White winged wonder. Ooh, you level up. No, Ambrosia's attack. Nice. It's played in Clive's chambers. Yay, Chocobo. We need gazelle greens to ride these things. Uh, after 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia in X to Mountain Chocobo. I am dying though. I'm gonna teleport back to town. Hopefully. I guess there is no inn in this game. Let's buy a bunch of potions. Well, it sucks too because I can just level up and heal. Let's just see what we can do. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Can you heal me, lady? It's out of there. Bruce. On dressing greens of gossel. Uh, never down, never down raw, lest bitter juices inspire violent retching and loose bowels. <laughs> Avoid the frying pan, lest foul stink taint the iron. Rendering it none better than slag, and by no means a put to stew, lest the vapors overexcite stabled bow boss. If suffer the fodder one must, first mix with nine parts drink or er, drake's mint, six parts lemon peel, and three parts of ginger root, and soak in honeyed wine for a quarter moon to lessen malodor. Oh wow. Gossip greens are definitely not good for human consumption. And following cheatery will be repaid with a swift boot to the arse. Mucking, stacking, packing, peeking, palming, hoisting, fingering. What? Nice. Yes. Ask about the rest. Those folk round here. Oh. The rest of the people. <laughs> so I told. I kind of wanted to see if we can sleep here, but I guess not. A lost chain on the engine. So I don't really care. <laughs> you off then? Can I just sleep in one of your rooms? That'd be too nice. Uh, I guess we just teleport to the base. See, there's no side quests available. Now, where's Gav? 
Oh, that jail's the one with the way marker. Ah, Clive! <laughs> I've missed that scowl! <laughs> Where's my report? What, no kind words for your old pal Cal? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <laughs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Arthur. Well, the two nations beat their shields. The rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. Mm. They'll never see us coming. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a what? It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Here's where we started. Four mother crystals remain in storm and ash. Drake's breath near Iron Home. Drake's fang in Darmechia. Drake's spine in Walud. Walud. And Drake's tail here in the Crystalline Dominion. <laughs> Didn't realize those five in mother the crystals. Of the Republican army Total. Twin sight, Drake's fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kuku would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a <laughs> swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle. Uncle? Byron Rosfield. Lord Byron Rosfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Quid. Rosfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then! <laughs> what are we waiting for, eh? Huh? <laughs> hey. Goopo! Isn't that board's open now? Otto's counter is now open! New facilities, the following hideaway facilities are now available. Alliant reports, patrons whisper, the hunt aboard. Oh yeah, we uh, actually killed a hunt uh, last time. It's one of those floating eyeballs. What are we waiting for indeed? There's a side quest down there. Uh, let's see if there's anything at the blacksmith. What do you need? Hmm. What do you want? Nothing. Oh, no, no, no. 
right now. See, I, I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martell's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All her hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she... Well, after she died, and <laughs> now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. <laughs> Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Why not? It would be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here we go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. Fruits of our labors. Two baskets. This place is a maze too. I go on the right way. And you say Sid built this place? There's the hot board, I think. So Mathers all right. Breaker. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. <laughs> Martel. Now where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girls in the furrows? Course she was. <laughs> and I've sought that one. Love plants more than people. I am brave as a bang might. Remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when Titan attacked? Mm -hmm. Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. A gift from the backyard. For your service. Blimey, these take me. Blimey. Back. I haven't seen a hideaway apple since. Not Old uh... Sid was the only one who could stammer the things. <laughs> no. He'd nab them right from the branch, make Martel livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at a man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. <laughs> Planning on keeping that lock to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clyde! Tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? Not so much as a thank you. <laughs> well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't ya? That was the last of the apples. 
I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Clive! Okay. Here you go. Nothing. Seen enough? Desiree. Oh, Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? What? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh, no. That's still me. <laughs> it's just Karen has a toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Business is busy. Top of my regular duties here at the Whisper. Auto has piled countless other tasks, from transcribing and sorting Stolas reports to penning useful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever, or ever since I have ever since I learned my letters from Anjara back in the old highway. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. That honor goes to Shirley. Still, I think I like to think Jara would be proud of me too. Were he with us today? Words are immortal. They live on in others, and if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Jara in our last session before Titan came. It's stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become what I am today. I imagine we survivors all have a story like that of someone who uh, remains with us even though they're gone. Come to claim your just desserts. Let's see what this is. Patrons whisper, uh, completing the side quest will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or, uh, or items to Cl uh, Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway's mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. I love how we can just like buy stuff. Uh, what's this? Your merry band of outlaws is his dashing deeds of Derry Do are <laughs> all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered together several items of worth that you might. Continue your gallantry. Well, that's a lot of early points. But do we actually lose? You earn this. Okay, so we actually don't lose the thing. All this just for one meteorite. <laughs> it's there you are. Very lame. And renowned to unlock more donation will become available upon re re achieving. Uh, renowned rating of 100. Hasn't Berserker been ring. Yet, I'm afraid. Berserker ring. I wonder what that does. Oh, yeah. Koopo. Clive, there you are, Koopo. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? The matter is this, Koopo. I'm bored. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fierce and beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Uh, of course not, Koopo. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help. As I need not remind you, Koopo, I am the mightiest of all the Moogles. No fiend or the blah, blah, blah. I need you to slay them all, Koopo. <laughs> right. Well, leaving your... Mightiness aside for the moment. The people of Alistia are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. Fiends. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Yeah. Or at least I can try. No, thank you, Koopo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Koopo. I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the billets that gets posted on the board. So if you need anything, to blah 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 blah. blah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we killed that one. Uh, reports of fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted to the hunt board in hopes that fearless heroes such as Clive will take it upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious marks. Yeah. yeah. I'm assuming I already got it. Angel of Death, a traitor coming by the way of. Kerr Norvet met with a troop of curse breakers. 
uh, traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes are wild and flickering, though the curse breakers saw nothing untoward on their own journey through their past, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept up their brisk pace. So, Care Norvent. Oh, Belafor. And Belfagor. Uh, reports have been uh, received of a wild avis of striking size, making his nest atop uh, the hill adjacent to Eastpool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border that we might cut the fiend down before it makes trench trenches trenchers of the nearby villagers. Uh, let's try to go for this one. Clairview's Sandbreak. Can I get there? Oh, the Broken Hilt and the Rosaria. Okay, maybe we can just go both. Clairview's Sandbreak. Oh yeah, let's finish off this side quest though. Oh, yeah. And how may I assist you today? Feel the state of the realm. What is it that you wish to learn? Uh, by speaking with Vivian in the Hideways uh, map room, Clive can view the state of the realm and learn more about the current going-ons uh, in Valestia. Revisit any of the Nine Tales' past lessons, or take a deeper look at the relationships of those individuals in Clive's orbit. Of course. Uh, the Grand Cast. Here you can view a detailed visualization of character relationships in Final Fantasy 16 that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Use the buttons, shoulder buttons, to cycle through the pivotal milestones in Clive's adventure. Mother. Annab Annabella. Killed my daddy. B. Yes. Sir Tyler. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler. Still strange. Did the second to the black shoots. That's pretty cool. So you can start from us as a kid. Here you are. Uh, here you can view a detailed overview of current and past events relevant to Clive's story that updates as you progress through the main scenario. Cycle through. Oh yeah, pixels. Pixel Clive. Yeah, this is at the beginning. Yeah. Nice. So if we need to like recap through everything, we have. Thus ends today's lesson. All that. It's pretty cool. Hmm. I actually don't know if my HP is refilled or not. It's coming here. Yeah, I feel like once we get back to the hideout, they should kind of automatically heal us, but... Let's just wait and see. The curse breakers send their thanks. And their compliments. They were clearly very fond of Martel. They remembered her. A after all these years. I suppose she was very kind. Even to a tongue-tied lummox like me. <laughs> you were one of the good ones, Martel. Why did you have to die? She put everything into her work. She wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy. And now we do. Now we do. When she died, I named a sapping after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. And something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't <laughs> mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. 
Wouldn't get some of them apples. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Mm. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Level up. A lot of experience for nothing, <laughs> really. Right, so we healed regardless. Martel's apples displayed in uh, lab stamps. I think we are good here, so we can get out of here. So that we can't actually go anywhere? Okay, well, I guess we're just going main story time. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kuka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? <laughs> Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Where is it, boy? I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Ironhome. Oh yeah. For what? To kill them all. After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. Face it together then. To the end. Come on. I have bloodlines. How far do you think your mother's reach extends? Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Martha's Rest? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Porter's on there. We will visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. It's over! I was gonna say, like, I don't think I've been here before. I was actually very close to, uh... Martha's Rest. I do have a chocobo now, but do I care to use it? Let's just follow the main path. Not to get sidetracked too much. Must be cleansed of the stain which befalls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> but would we uh, pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful? Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. Could the black shield 
not having a village this small. There's barely room to hide a bearer. And they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing the gallows chick like the villains. Excuse me, but what was all that about earlier? You haven't heard. Someone's been stirring up trouble. There have been attacks on the garrison, supplies stolen. They even say a black shield was murdered. The Empire wants a lot of black shields Empire have been wants. murdered. Empire gets. Actually, no, there's only one. One showed up. Keep your ears open, eh? The black shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. <laughs> That's us. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could take on the Empire. What with their hundred full legions? Hundred? I heard it were a thousand. You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The black shields. Just now. You seen him, didn't you? At least I, I think they was black shields. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? What do you think? Amber's the arson to nowhere. And they thought we might be arboring firebrands. Firebrands. Oh, if only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. <laughs> I want? know that. We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village. And we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission, but if it will spare my people the Vice Wing's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pool. Then we shall be on our way. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Uh, sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosary would have the courage to stand against the Empire? A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. So that's pretty far. But... This path will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. <laughs> Be alright. Which way we go? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, though there might be chests depending on where we go.
die. It's an orb. Bomb. Died from that. Bulls, something, something. Uh, increases lunge damage. I do lunge a lot, but it's not enough of an increase to really. A oh, black shield. More of my mother's men. looking for treasure. I don't know if there is any though. There's these guys. Kinda remind me of pop lights, but like Black shields. told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. 
What? Thought we just draw weapons. You know who we are. And still, you would bear your steel. Mm -hmm. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting doors. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true shield Now tell me, why are you here? Tell me what I want and the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> why, you. We come bearing a message. Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <sighs> They await you in Ordil, guardians of the flame. Oh, Jesus, you really don't sound that good. <laughs> Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry. I really don't know if I'm gonna actually heal. Kinda of hoping to find a potion or something that'll just heal all the time. Before I go, I'm gonna take a restroom break actually, so give me a second.
know, we're still dying, but... I use push if I have to, but... Try not to. I really wish we had, like, a curing spell or something. Find something, boy. I don't like finite healing capabilities. Death. my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. Too much. Why are you so crazy, Mama? We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Anything over here? <laughs> Bodies everywhere. Just why right? Yeah, so much why right? I don't know what the point of having all this is. as being in a town so we used to they're approaching you at bridge though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith hello didn't happen to come by way of old build did you Saw some Imperials clad in black making for the docks just the other day. The next morn, you couldn't see the sun for all the ravens. Yes. Well, why right? Bloody heads. We're still in some town, I think. Mummy, I could hear him shouting from down the road. 
In honor of the 250th anniversary of the founding of the Duchy or Grand Duchy of Rosaria. The a curfew oh, that never Passage to the provincial capital is restricted to Imperial Army personnel. The gates are closed. They're all Rosarian. But this is their home. Uh, I'm hungry. Chocobo. Grabs. I really wish you could charge up magic to the next level, past level 2. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Grabs. That's a grab. I've been there. Uh, 
see how much experience to my next level up. Okay. 1200 experience. That's a lot. Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. You're there? We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? As long as it is abandoned. Mm, black light bugs. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. It's luster. Show ourselves out. Oh, don't do this. ever seen one man fight like that and he's long dead then perhaps it's time you joined him <laughs> it's about our dad the blessing of the phoenix it can't be i was there when you died huh? 
<laughs> yep. And <laughs> they think it's Elwyn. I knew not whom I addressed. You have naught to fear from us. Founder, it really is you. It's Wade. It is. I'm trying to remember which so one it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that the it was like the newbie. Like we can speak person. inside. Newbie soldier at the time. Oh, <laughs> we didn't actually kill everybody. <laughs> Very funny. And those who wouldn't bend the knee? We left before the Empire could make examples of us. Though we didn't go far. And we banded together to form the Guardians of the Flame Ooh. soon after. Guardians of the Flame. Alas, there is only so much a handful of aging shields can do against the might of an empire. But we've seen to it that their stay has been anything but pleasant. Of late, though, we've had our hands full just trying to keep the Duchy's few remaining bearers out of the Imperial's clutches. The Cullings. We saw what happened in Old Hill. Why? The foul work of the Black Shields and their mistress. You mean my mother. But it doesn't make sense. Even knowing what I know about her. Her hatred for bearers was no secret, but... She wouldn't have been ignorant of their value to the realm. No offense, my lord. But in case you haven't noticed, the Lady Annabella couldn't care less about the realm. She barely even cares for her own home. That much has been plain since the slaughter at Eastpool. And, since granting the Holy Emperor a new heir, her obsession with bearers only seems to have grown. As to why, I don't know. Maybe she can't bear the thought of anyone having the power to challenge her beloved son. Her son. So Wade, the Black Shields are broken camp. They march in full force for Buick Bridge. Then so do we. Make ready. That's <laughs> good. A little salute thing. This is their main host. If we remove the head, perhaps... Perhaps we can prevent what happened at the docks from happening somewhere else. If I do nothing, then the blood of their next victims will be on my hands. Yours and ours. We too have witnessed the crimes these men who dare call themselves shields have committed in my mother's name. It cannot be allowed to continue. We must put a stop to this madness. We must. So let us go with you. For the good of Rosaria. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Very well. If that is your wish, I would be honored to serve at your side. Yes. And we at yours. So Wade, let us do our duty. With pleasure, Let's my lord. Get some ass. Did you heal us? <laughs> Probably I imagine this endeavor will require more than just our weights. Then let's hope Sir Wade has a good quartermaster. Ah, we'll show them the fire in our hearts. Tell me that's not much juice. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and heal, I guess. I can't. You are welcome to what little we have managed to salvage. What's that? Just let me break. 
generation about amount by three percent. It's not very good. Desert rose. Why is rose like this uh, appearance? Uh, this delicate sandstone formation and in the uh, deserts of Damakia is no rose, but instead an inexplicable peculiarity of nature. A reminder that humankind will never fully comprehend the world in which we live. It is also said to bring good luck. Let's buy some, I guess. Will that be all? Fairly cheap, I'd say. As you wish, my lord. Ooh. Mm, no, it's not buying elixirs. It's too expensive. Expensive. I will be here should you need aught else. Let's go and save. Tell us then, Sir Wade. What is your plan? Nothing fancy. You, Lady Jill, and I make for Buett Bridge and provoke and we the their ass. host at their <laughs> encampment. Sensing an opportunity kick to end asses. the Guardians, the Black Shields will call for reinforcements, who will be met from the rear by parties of the my rear. brothers hidden throughout the surrounding hills. This will allow us to wage battle on the bridge without fear of being overwhelmed. Rear. While the Black Shields have an advantage in numbers, you see, they prefer to fight in small units, which we can use to our advantage. How small exactly? Small enough. Now that I have you and Lady Jill for company. <laughs> I doubt I could have done this on my own. Yeah, power of the dominance. But until we arrived, that was your plan. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. So wait. The bearers from Old Ed have been laid to rest. Mm. Very good. Now make ready for battle. As you command. Thank you, Sir Wade. Perhaps now they will find peace. There is but one thing which will grant them peace. Putting an end to the Black Shields. And so we shall. Word. Shamash. Uh, party members, throughout the main scenario, Clive will often be joined by various companions who are keen to lend their assistance. However, depending on Clive's destination, they may choose to remain behind at the hideaway. Confront the Black Shields. We'll keep them from the, the blessing of the Phoenix go with you. Go kick some ass. How long have you been pursuing the Black Shields? The heal us. They Since they burned their first village. We tracked down the bosses responsible and fed their corpses to Stillwind. Suffice to say, that got their attention. It's been a game of cat and mouse ever since. Look at this pass. I was not even that far. Charging through. There they are. On your command, my lord. Oh. What is it now? I told you. We bear a message for the Vicerine. From the Guardians of the Flame. Ha! You presume to tell us that a pair of filthy vagabonds, a woman and a dog, and a dog. could guard aught against the might of the Black Shields? Then come! Oh, we're coming. Die along with your flame! We're coming. For Azaria! For Azaria! For Azaria. Your petty revolution ends here. On these our swords, we swear. Bloody hell. Two more. Reinforcements from the far bank. Another one is going to fight that battle for them. Oh. 
Ajo. More dragons. The Imperials aren't taking any chances. I can't say I'm flattered. But get over here. Oh, little baby dragons. I thought they meant like big dragons. Oh, the Drago! A noble stand. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna heal. A misguided one. So I don't trust myself. <laughs> In taking it, you have but proven our point. What? That this land oh. is in dire need of cleansing. Oh, fuck. That was early. Oops. I didn't mean to take it. It's over. Bloody what? It bloody worked. <laughs> Wait. We sent every last one of the rotten bastards straight to the mud. My, uh, Lord. Hmm. Perhaps this will be enough to stop the Cullings. For the time being, at least. Perhaps. Though I doubt my mother will take this loss well. She'll move swiftly to see her minions' ranks replenished. And then it will all begin again. I often wonder if the nation we once knew is gone for good. Her fields rot. Her people starve. We battle to preserve the flame that was, but for every foe we fell, another springs up in its place. Yet be that as it may, it is still our home. And we must fight for it. As we always have, and always will. For as long as the Firebird's flame burns in our hearts, the Duchy cannot die. And her loyal subjects may dream of a day 
when the Rosarian standard flies over Rosalith once more. So why he die? Think we should fall back to Port Isolde before the garrison sends reinforcements? A sound strategy, my lord. Oh, I have enough uh, renown for another thingy. <laughs> and how long has my uncle been funding you and your comrades' endeavors? Since the beginning. Lord Byron was the first person I turned to after forming the Guardians. And had I known of this tunnel back then, I wouldn't almost have been hanged by the city guard for trying to sneak over the wall. I suppose a formal request for an audience would have appeared suspicious. And appearances must be maintained. Were the Vice Regency to catch wind of Lord Byron's involvement in our movement, they'd seize his estate and send him to the gallows, where he would be of no use to anyone. And so, though it sickens him to the soul, he plays the part of the loyal lord, knowing that one wrong move might prove his downfall. It is why he remains ever vigilant. Don't be surprised if he refuses you an audience, especially since you're famously dead. Then I will have to think of a way to prove that I am neither wraith nor wrongdoer. I might have something which could help with the latter. It's the mark of the Guardians. Display it, and those who love Rosaria will know where your loyalties lie. Apparently. I shall wear it with pride. Be sure that you do. I don't want my men attacking you again. <laughs> Unless you deserve it. If only Sir Tyler could have been here to see you. Or the Lord Commander. Yeah. Thank you, Sir Wade. If there is ever anything you need... I know. Go on now, my lord. How accommodating. Do you really think they believe we are who we say we are? Not a chance. All right, I guess. My uncle believes we're imposters here to rob him. It means to string us up himself. Oh, what? Imagine my surprise when I was told my nephew had come to visit. Clive Rosfield died long ago. And for uttering his name here, you shall pay with your tongue. What? Did I not actually draw a sword? You would mock me as well. <laughs> Bruh. It is I, Sir Crandall oh. of Camelot, loyal servant to her serene holiness. Oh, <laughs> that's how they used to play. The Unshard. Or something like that. Meadow, thou vile sorcerer, for thy crimes <laughs> it's against the Church and Crown. I shall have thy head. <laughs> uh. 
How many house do you prove that you <laughs> are family? Curse the infectious flax wench. Black switch. Even in death, <laughs> must thou plague me still? Very well. I shall open the gates of hell that thou might see thy charge once more. <laughs> Bravo, Uncle. You're still the finest matter in the twins. <laughs> Oh. My dear boy, it's really you. <laughs> it's so sad. But 18 years though. It's... You always were fond of that scene from the Saint of the Sanctuary. Never did let me play so grand <laughs> so... I have a favor to ask Uncle Byron. Rutherford, inform the kitchens. There'll be guests. We dine immediately. But, Uncle... You can't very well regale me with the tale of your miraculous preservation on an empty stomach. Go on, sit. I see that you use the good plates, Rutherford. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming viceroy, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been twenty years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. All right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! <laughs> Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. <laughs> Jill's like... Tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. Mm. And besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? your own of course <laughs> you've always been a terrible liar is that true but <laughs> it's not untrue it's not untrue don't say no more about it eh it wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing the one thing I cannot believe though is all this about you being Sid you were always such a good boy, but now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Brotherhood, fetch me my cutlass. This will be fun. <laughs> Fun. Over there. Over there. <laughs> She's a fine ship, isn't she? 
Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to trust in us in the space of three days. Something on your mind? Monsters. When I served the Iron Kingdom, I, I did so because I saw no other choice. Because once they learned that the Lash would not move me, oh. they turned it on those who could. And so I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. And when you do, I'll be standing there with you, just as you stood with me. Oh. Thank you, Clive. I must atone for my sins. Only then, when it's done, will the monster cease to be. Just... Promise me that you won't die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. Before we continue, I'm gonna pick up pizza. <laughs> I just ordered some pizza during that whole cutscene. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'll be back in a bit, actually. So sit tight. <laughs> 